Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. We're finally winding down, but we have the biggest moments of the game still ahead of us. We had our last uh, Miles section recently. Now we're on to the last Mary Jane sequence. Time to unlock that elevator. And now we have a taser, and we've got uh, some sleuthing to do around Norman Osborne's penthouse. First, we have to get them out of there and unlock the elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. We'll also be learning a lot more about Norman and his son, Harry, too. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Stupid useless button. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm going to find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commission. So while we have the place to ourselves, at least for the time being... Doors are locked till the system check finishes. We can snoop around and find a few cool things. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. This actually could have been a cool puzzle if they hadn't put so fine MJ, a point on it. Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. They really we lead you the uh, through this sequence How by the nose, though. Right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? I mean, Norman's goddamn billionaire. Hmm. Oh, the helmet! Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Sure has a prototype goblin aesthetic. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Now, unfortunately, even if we know the access code ahead of time, which is the date that Harry left for Europe, we can't actually input it. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? There are really only a couple of things that you can inspect or interact with, hey, so it's just a matter of time. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, Anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You 
know for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. It doesn't sound to me like Harry's tired. It sounds like he's... glum. Oh, another... Oh, I thought there was another helmet. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait. Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? To refresh, GR27, by the way, was Devil's Breath. Which we know was supposed to be Harry's a cure Norman. for something like a panacea. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. So we have the key, we can check the room, then we can get the diary, which gives us the access code. Again, it could have been really cool, like a little puzzle. Uh, but they... What? They railroad you through this it. This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? We're learning quite a bit about all three Harry's of them. Journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. So he, like his mother, had a neurodegenerative illness. Claimed her life, and Norman's working to make sure it doesn't claim his. You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Five by five control. Area clear. Now the top floor of the penthouse gets populated with guards. Which isn't the biggest deal. There aren't actually that many of them for how high security Sable seems to be. Really, just a handful in each room. So now the one on the left shouldn't turn around, but just in case, we'll deal with him first and then rush over before this one turns back around. And can't go through here. This is just to hide out uh, while someone patrols past. We have one. Someone should be coming around. Yeah glimpsed me for just a second. So you gonna stop at the door or go straight past? If you go straight past, it's really useful for us. Nope, he's decided to go into the middle of the living room. Which is a pain in the ass. 
Because now we have to draw him out. Uh, so I can safely pass. Well, we have to draw him out so I can knock the guard on the left out. So that I can then safely enter the password. Oh, and that's not quite good enough. Yeah, no. Keep turning around. That's him. And then... I don't know if this wall actually blocks line of sight to the keypad. Okay. But why July risk it? July 18. Bingo. Gun check. No response. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR27 was developed to treat them. Devil's breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Oh, there's so much more to this lab, though. A child's x-ray. But it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Camouflage and bioelectrokinesis. Prototype hand grenades? Hmm. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. And I think that's the last thing in the lab to see. Uh, there is... Technically one more thing, but I think that comes in a cutscene once we're done with this sequence. So now it's just Wow. Onwards Norman to progression. Fancy map contest. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. So there's Michael's Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotic? Strom expert? and one more. No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti serum is, he must have been too. So we're gonna follow his route. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. And commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. And this must be the C team. No, Dr. Michael's a good old alpha team. Oops. No, Norman's a records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. So this is a building that he has frequented, and it's one of the only ones in the path. Yep, that's just a Sable patrol. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Oscorps going all in on defense research. Wait, do I have the right building? Chosen their Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp build. No. Norman's not I'm crazy enough. Pretty sure it is that records shopping. building. Devil's Breath Lab must have a oh, records facility. Oh, I forgot to uh, set the Bravo the patrol. Devil's Breath Lab. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. 
GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. That was nice timing. By the way, did you think we were getting Spider-Woman and Mary Jane with the spider bite? No, not quite. Maybe keep that spider in mind, though. Nope. Man down. Go to alert. Yeah, we need to get behind him. Good, 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 good. Oh shit, I almost got noticed by him. Uh, oh, and there's another problem too. So we just need to pull them apart and then get between them. And it's smooth sailing. But he doesn't want to react? That's troublesome. Hmm. Oh, hey, there we go. Whoop. Wait. Oh, I poked too far out. I don't know why they didn't want to react. I think it may have been because they were a little suspicious and that stunts their ability to react to my distraction. Also didn't realize I could have just come this way. Which might actually be a much easier way to go about this whole thing. A little. Oh, come on. Don't stop there. That's annoying. I think someone out there spotted a body, but really doesn't make all that big a difference. Oh, yeah, this is way, way easier. Because now it's just a straight shot. I need to clear that balcony. Now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. Hey, you ready? Wait, wait, hold on. It's too late. You're up. You are crazy. You're amazing.
It's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. All right. That's going to do it for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Do stuff in the description, I guess. We'll wrap this up next time, so we have one more episode left. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.